Yeah, that's my front door, and yes, we have a tall corn crop this year. We're in my Lincoln Continental, and we are heading to uh, our other house in town. It's about 12 miles to Pegs, from Pegs to uh, Tahlequah. You got a pretty good shot of my driveway. Yes. Uh, that is my uh, my house out of town. I live there in the evenings between the hours of 8 p.m. and 6 or 7.30 in the morning. So home takes on a meaning that floats. Michael, that home we just left, would you call, wouldn't you call that your main living quarters? Yes. And so, I, I mean, I built that house myself uh, on Indian land, donated one acre plot. That's how they do uh, Indian allotments now. It's not the Dawes Act anymore. So they finally just said, well, from now on, that it. Uh, an Indian allotment is a one acre plot. No bigger, no less. Right. You know, to me, home, you know, I'm at home in my body, right? And so, home then really to me is where I am because ever since I was 17 whenever I went out on my own and everything I had it was on clothes on my back and what I could carry in my knapsack of course see whenever I went on the street at, at 17 was back during the early 1970s and it was right in the middle of the old hippie days but back then I was a hippie yep and so home was wherever I was and so I, I started living like that. I started living like an old hippie. Of course, I'm an old hippie now. Back then, I was a young hippie. And when they called us hippies, uh, it was it was a derogatory term. Uh, now I consider it a badge of honor. Uh, during that summer, the summers I was in Boy Scouts, my yes. home was that tent. There were four boys that slept in that tent, yep. and we all had a corner. And there's four corners in the tent. We right. all had a corner, and my corner was home. Uh -huh. And so I made whatever was in that area, it was kind of like you had your own personal area there. <laughs> yeah. That was home. I never had, I mean, I own a home. My, my wife, she owns a home. We own a home here in town also. <laughs> yeah. They're houses, they're not homes. They're houses. And I'm camping still. My wife lives here in town. She has two for health reasons. I know. And we're Get raising that. our grandson. We have a second chance at making a home for him. Now, this is his home. Yeah. He's never known anything else ever since he was an infant baby. The only thing he can ever remember is grandma. Well, uh, this is called uh, Meeting Home and Place. Uh, C-O-N. Oh, I know how to do it. Okay. Now we have to start all over again. Okay. <laughs> All right, give me five, buddy. All right, that's good. That's good. <laughs> you did a great job. You want your address? <laughs> hey, you want, want your, your address? address? Hey, what? Do what? What's your address? What's your address? 701 South Thorn Avenue. Very good. And where do you live? Telequa. Telequa. <laughs> Oklahoma. Oklahoma. Okay, and what's your phone number? Two oh seven one seven two nine. Man, he's learning a lot in kindergarten this year. Already knows all of that. Well, Plus, look, look what's happening to my hair. Yeah, and look what's happening to my eyes. I told you to take it off the strobe. If you're going to turn it on, you got to turn it on to the door. There you go. Ooh, I can see my hands. Yeah, it's pretty bright light for for a uh, for for. Turn my little, hands. Do your hands. They're clean. They are clean. Because I take it a bath. Because you're taking a bath. Yeah. Did you just do what this did? Huh? Well, I'm going to do that blinker over here. So You're going to do the blinker over there? Okay. Whoa! Well, that's my grandson, Connor. And uh, this is his home. We have a house here in town. And we have a house out in Pegs. Hey! Okay, sir? Uh, Are you done with it? Yeah. Okay. That was so awesome when that line went bling, bling. Yeah, blink, blink, blink. It was so awesome, wasn't it? Yeah. And yeah. what was that called again? Huh? What was that? Called a headlamp. It's called a headlamp. Headlamp, yeah. 